Hey guys, Harv here with an overview of Kerbal Space Program version 0.19. KSP is now on Linux. There's a native version that is officially supported for Ubuntu 12.04, but apparently it should work on most distributions. There are now atmospheric effects, which means that re-entry heat has been added, or not actually heat, just the effects of it. Um, so you get a massive flat fireball around your craft, and also supersonic flight produces vapor trails. This also includes sound effects. There are new Kerbal animations. Uh, basically, they have facial expressions, uh, and they can show emotion with total pain or joy, or, you know, massive panic. <laughs> this is using the new Mechanim animation engine from Unity. We have rover wheels and other rover dedicated parts, which are steerable and self-powered. The wheels, not the other parts. This allows us to construct anything from tiny unmanned rovers to exploration buggies to huge mobile contraptions. Uh, the rover wheels can pop when they're put under too much pressure. For instance, strapping a solid rocket booster to the back of the rover might do that, and they can be repaired using a right-click context menu whilst on EVA. There have been many graphical and scenery improvements with a new launch pad, uh, which has completely removed the launch tower, which we all hated, so that's okay. Actually, no, I didn't hate it, I just wanted it to be used. Um, this is probably a better alternative to that. There's also a new runway with nighttime lighting, so there's lights that allow you to land in the dark a bit easier. And it's also got sloped sides, which mean that we can drive safely on and off it. Which may be a lot less fun, but you know, it's pretty useful. By the way, the launch pad design is also shown on the Space Center in-game. And there's also a load of other new parts for general construction. Uh, the Rover wheels come in three varieties. There's the Rove Max model the Rove Max Model 1, 2 and 3, the first one being the big and fastest, second small and slowest, third, oh my god that's you, <coughs> Herb, that's what she and said. slightly faster. Um, the Cubic Pro Pod has had a name change and a retexture, and also a new Pro Pod has been added, Probodobodyne Octo 2, it's flat. There's now a thin 3 meter decoupler that works the same way as the 1 meter counterpart. It separates the rocket in two and floats awkwardly in the middle. And we've also got loads of metal beams of all shapes and sizes. Onto the bug fixes and tweaks. Uh, the sun no longer shines from below on ships and scenery objects at night or whilst in orbit, which means that we have a bit more of a pitch black kind of scenario going on when we should have. There's been various minor balance tweaks to the uh, fuel amounts and the uh, ISPs, the efficiency of different engines. The key combination for the debug toolbar is no longer Control alt shift d it is now right shift plus f 12 by default, um, known as modifier key plus F12, although on my keyboard it is actually Alt-GR plus F12 by default apparently. The Alt modifier key itself is now remappable and default to right shift on Linux. There is also a new tab under input settings in the option menu, it's headed called Rover. Uh, this allows the rebinding of dedicated keys for steering left and right and accelerating forwards and back. Uh, that's W for accelerating forwards and S for accelerating backwards by default. This is called Throttle in the menu. Finally, the game is now more intensive, which is a shame for all of those those of you with less powerful computers. It, it, it runs noticeably slower in the atmosphere and around the space center on my laptop, so that's something you may want to watch, watch out for. That is it though for the main updates to the game. There were a few other parts added that I haven't mentioned, and there were probably a few other tweaks that I haven't gone over. But other than that, there is nothing else, so thank you very much for watching the video. If you liked the video, please do like the video. Thanks again for watching, and I shall see you all next time.